So fast twitch motor units are fast twitch muscle fiber. These fibers are thicker in nature. They have more contractile proteins in them, which means they can produce more contractile force. Your slow twitch motor units are these little fibers, not much contractile force. Your body uses them for endurance related activities like walking, stuff like that. They don't have much um, hypertrophy potential. Fast twitch motor units have all the hypertrophy potential. So okay. you want to address, engage, fatigue, and stimulate those. You address and recruit those by training to failure or a very dangerous way that most people have found a way to do it is simply lift heavy things quickly. So explosive movements are going to engage fast twitch motor units. The only problem is high peak forces. So yeah. you're and that's susceptible been my life. to injury. Yeah. That's all I do. <laughs> that's why you've seen huge improvements in strength and uh, explosiveness. You're a very fast runner too, mm -hmm. right? You're on yeah. like a 4 three forty. Yep. I've also torn both biceps. Yep. And that is from high peak forces. Right. So you can still address these fast twitch motor units moving really slowly as long as you take it to failure because they're recruited in sequential order. It's called Henneman's size principle. So the first couple of repetitions that aren't that demanding, you're using the slow and intermediate fast twitch motor units. Then when this becomes intense, fast twitch motor units kick in, and that's when you start using them. And these are the ones that grow. So if you're not hitting fast twitch motor units, your growth is going to be extremely limited. Okay. But another thing about that is when you hit them and fatigue them, they're done. You can't stimulate them again. That's why if you did another set after this, you'd just be retracing slow and intermediate twitch motor units, the ones that don't grow. If you train to failure, you hit the fast twitch, any additional set after that provides no additional benefit. The huge thing, and the reason most people can withstand so many sets is because they're not engaging the fast twitch motor Right. Units. Yeah, I've been there where I'm, I've done three, four sets of an exercise, but I almost feel like, I don't feel like I did anything. Right. And that was because you had, you know, the arbitrary number of sets and reps right. that you had to complete. You know, a lot of people go in the gym and they don't train their muscles, they just use their muscles. They're just like moving things around. Yeah. But the goal of the well, exercise is to I totally feel that I train my muscles right now. I mean, to have a pump like this and to feel as fatigued in my chest and my triceps from one set of bench press is something I've never experienced. Yeah, and another, you know, what you want to do too with this protocol, if you can, is move relatively quickly. In quickly between, meaning in between exercises from exercise to exercise the rule of thumb is always move slowly during exercise right. but quickly between them because uh -huh. then you're going to keep your your heart rate elevated and you're going to get a heck of a lot of cardiovascular benefit out of that too oh interesting okay so if you can you want to set your workout in order so you can only take about 30 to 60 seconds in between because again the, the goal is deep muscle fatigue systemically throughout your whole body it's going to respond a little better from the Doctorstotrust.com 